There needs to be more positive environments for kids to play sports in. I know a lot of these kids and a lot of these families, and they got a lot going on in life outside of this lacrosse field. Let's make sure we're having fun. If we're not having fun, what are we doing out here? I mean, why are we out here? If we're not having fun, what are we doing? My name is Keith Quigley. I am the executive director of Puck Kids, which is Positive Understandable Coaching for Kids, a nonprofit youth sports program here in Chula Vista, California. Being here in, in Chula Vista, California, I've been living here for about 20 years now. What I do love is that diversity. There is a huge Mexican population, Filipinos, Asian, obviously Caucasian, uh, African American. So what I love about Chula Vista, being 10 minutes from Mexico, is the diversity. That's how I grew up in New York. My parents taught me, doesn't care what somebody looks like, it's all about what they're about. And so I grew up with that. So being here in Chula Vista, I just fit right in because, because of the diversity in the population that we have here. My name is Derek. My name is Andrew. I found out about lacrosse doing Puff Kids with Coach Keith. One Sunday he showed a flyer for a lacrosse clinic he was doing. And I went to that and I really enjoyed it. I was just walking by. And I saw the cross, I was gonna ask my mom if I could join. And I was like begging her to say yes. And then the next day I tried out and I liked it. You roll, you cradle, you pass the ball, you catch the ball, and it's fun. Beautiful today that U.S. Lacrosse has sent, you know, these uh, pro clinicians to teach the game to these kids from different areas of the country, so these kids can see their life stories. We're gonna start off just in our right hands, and then we'll switch it over and we'll go to our left. The same thing. It's just we're gonna break it down a little bit more. Last one. You guys having fun yet? Yeah. yeah. My name is Joe Guglielmo. I am the. Uh, Feaster Charter School Athletic Director, um, also a physical education teacher. To me, I love the fact that it gets other kids involved that are not normally involved in other sports. So my whole program here is based around getting the kids that you wouldn't normally reach to be involved in athletics, to be involved in sports, and to be, to be active. Since then, we've actually gotten a lot more interest programs developed to the point where we had uh, anywhere from 30 to 50 kids in the program at any given time. What I'm really trying to teach them is these life lessons through lacrosse. When a kid, you know, graduates from high school or gets a job in high school or college or whatever, they can sort of look back to the lacrosse program that they participated in and now they have the respect and the teamwork and how to let how to take constructive criticism how to pay attention how to be respectful um, that's a really really important piece of Puck Kids they take these life lessons and these life skills and use it whether they work at Walmart McDonald's Apple computers anywhere right I just want kids being in a successful environment, getting an opportunity to play the game of lacrosse, and having U.S. Lacrosse come in here and run this clinic. Um, it's just been an amazing day. Walking around today for the last couple of hours, just seeing huge smiles on these kids' faces is all that I need, okay? If kids are smiling and kids are having fun, then it's a big deal to me. I know a lot of these kids and a lot of these families, and they got a lot going on in life outside of this lacrosse field. Having a kid come out here and smile and run around with a lacrosse stick in his or her hand for two hours, having fun, gets me a little emotional because 
that's simply what Puck Kids is all about.